Welcome back to the Star Wars Show live here at Star Wars Celebration Europe on StarWars.com. Now, yesterday, we all got to see Felicity Jones hold her brand new action figure, and now I am joined not only by Steve Evans, the Star Wars design director for Hasbro, but the brand new Jyn Erso action figure, and she is gorgeous. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about this figure? Absolutely, Which absolutely. Well, um, Jyn was revealed yesterday at the Rogue One um, panel. Yeah. Very excited. Felicity Jones revealed her action figure. She now has been inducted into the Action Figure Club, which is fantastic. That's pretty cool. um, this will be available later in the fall or the autumn, if we're in England, you may as well say that. Um, she, uh, yeah, she highly articulated. She's got a removable shawl. Okay. Um, comes with a blaster pistol that locks into her holster and pins in. Um, she's, you know, she's denoted as from Jeddah, so we'll find more about oh, what see, that means. Oh, see, that's another means. detail that yeah. hadn't really been talked about yeah, before. Yeah, no, so there's a lot of things kind of hidden in around here that will obviously be revealed as new trailers and new footage, and finally the movie comes out uh, in December. We're very excited to and see that. very cool. Like, yeah, I she's really great. Really, really good likeness outfit. of Felicity, so uh, very, very pleased that this to be our kind of first reveal uh, Rogue One. Yeah, that's action fantastic. Figure. And the Black Series line is so cool because it's so highly detailed and so much fun. Like I, I collect them a bit myself, and definitely gonna be getting that. You're gonna need a big shelf. A yeah, lot, right. lots, lots more to come. I from. started out with the prototype fet. Like that was my. I had to. I had. It was my lemming. I had to go cool. get it. But now that's my new one. Now, let's move on to the the Star Wars Celebration exclusive. Yes. This is this is pretty cool, and I hadn't seen it until you came up let's here. But here, up. let's nice open it up. You can walk there. us through. Yeah. So we have Kylo. Kylo Ren unmasked. We all know the scene where he kind of mm -hmm. takes his helmet off just before he does that awful thing to his father. Mm -hmm. still, still gets me. Still gets me right there. Yeah. Gets me right there. Um, so finally kind of delivering with his unmasked form. Um, he comes, uh, really good uh, likeness of Adam Driver, scanned from actual actor scanning. We actually have three-dimensional scanning of all the actors on the new movies, um, so we can get the likenesses uh, good and crisp. Comes with a swappable helmet, so he can be unmasked. Or mask, as you want it. And we all know that he has this thing for this kind of twisted Darth Vader helmet, That's his good. grandfather. That's good that so he has it with him. He has, a, means friend. A, lot he has to a friend him. with him. He has a friend with him. <laughs> and we just thought to round it off, we'll kind of, we really like that scene where the First Order are all on the Starkiller base and they have all the uh, banners and the mm -hmm. emblems. So we thought we'd kind of just round that off, give him a little bit of a, a set piece, a little bit of a, a stand, a little bit of environment, just to kind of bring it to life. Packed all together. Great artwork and, as usual yeah. and a nice presentation and the box. The artwork on here is beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool. So really pleased to kind of bring Kylo Unmasked finally to the Black Series family. And, that's, uh, and that is on the Forbidden Planet stand somewhere behind me or over there somewhere. So over there. if we've got a we're doing a thousand a day limited. So I know I think people will have to get a ticket and go to Forbidden Planet and pick it up there, but well worth getting. So this I mean this series of, of figures is so highly detailed and so well thought out. How long does it take for production of something like this, from inception to when it's on oh, shelves? It's usually, um, it's usually about 12 to 18 months. Okay. Um, you know, we obviously work very closely with our friends at Lucasfilm, mm -hmm. um, just down the corridor from where you are. And we work very closely, like, who do we choose? What reference do we get? Images, scans, as I mentioned. Then we start making the toy. We go back and forth with putting deco on and working out whether it's soft goods, whether it's not soft goods. And then we actually get into manufacturing. So from one point of saying, Let's do that character to these people here, kind There's of getting it, getting in their hands. It's about 18 months, so it's quite a long, yeah. quite a long time. But it's and and right now you guys are doing your fan choice competition yes. again, which is great. I, I last year we had uh, Darth Revan and Sabine. Yep. were made from that. Uh huh. Um, Coming soon, I promise. <laughs> Coming soon. And that Sabine is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah I really right? love the I really love the way that the Rebels characters have really turned out because yeah. Black Series principle is real world. So we can take from the EU or we can take from the yeah. animation show. Seeing the live action version of them and is bring really them to life. So the designers really like that, kind of expressing them in a different way. So what character would you say has been the most requested by fans? The most requested? Wow. Um, every single character <laughs> everyone, that ever every, exists. Everyone wants a complete um, collection. Old Ben, Ben Kenobi from episode four was is a really kind of recent strong one. I think okay. because of all the the fan theories about Raised parentage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So Obi Wan has kind of, kind of Having risen up, risen up a little bit more. And then we re we recently announced that we're going to be doing, or we are doing him later this year. So how, fans can get him. How about Kitster? Has there been a lot of lot of requests for Kitster? You think you can? But for Kitster? Yeah, for Kitster. You and your hashtag Kitster. If the fans vote for it, I want it. We will make it. I want it. You I want know Kitster. there's people out here who want their Kitster Black Series. You were talking about a two pack, wasn't it? Kitster and uh, <laughs> and Waldo, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
So uh, before we go real quick, tell me uh, what fans can expect from the Black Series line that, for the rest of this year. Well, I obviously can't tell you a lot about it because I would be probably have a little, uh, <laughs> have a little kimono dart, <laughs> kimono dart in my neck. But um, a lot. We, we get, we've been working really hard on Rogue One. This is the first of many. I mean, we've seen the new characters in the trailer and the behind the scenes footage that was shown yesterday. Um, so many new troopers, so many new characters, oh, so many new a, weird and wonderful aliens. So we're gonna have some really good fun with Black Series. So a lot more to come kind of towards the end of the year and, and into, into 17. It's well, like a roller coaster. You must know, it's, it's the same. Not, it's it's never it. ending, it's Can't amazing. We get so much, so much content, so many characters. Well, I will definitely be keeping my eyes out for that. Thank you so much for my stopping by. My absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. Fun. Thank you very much. And there will be much, much more from Star Wars Celebration coming up in just a moment from the Star Wars Show Live.